got to watch the language. We're live. I don't know if anybody's in there. Oh, let me turn this off. Hey, everybody. When you get in here, send me a message. Tell me, say hi. I just uh, caught a decent sized channel and I have to redo my hook here because it didn't come out real nice out of his mouth. So just getting things set back up. Can't even see the way my lights on my thing. Let's do this. Let's get this off of here. There's nobody on here. All right. Nobody in here yet. Oh, we got one person in here. I don't know who's in here, though. Hey, Ricky Ventures, how you doing? Sorry about the red light right now. We're actually... Uh... Oh, yeah, that's cool, man. Thanks for stopping in. It was kind of an unplanned uh, live anyways. I'm underneath a bridge right now, catfishing. I just caught a decent channel uh, a minute ago. Frank... Frank's here with me. He's all the way on the other side. Uh, but we're, uh, that was the first thing that we've had today. So, um, and we haven't even been here for an hour and we found a new way to get down to the bottom of this bridge. So that's going awesome. Hi, Chris, how you doing? And, uh, hope everybody's doing good. Thanks for stopping in. I know it was a last minute live, but figure I'd stop on for a little bit and, um, I got this red light on right now because I'm retying my hook. Oh, okay. All right. I wasn't sure how bad it was. How's the sound and everything? I am underneath this bridge, so I really can't tell. And I've ne never done this before. Okay. So, um, yeah, we got a, I got a little fire going behind me over here. Um, just having some fun. Oh, right on. And uh, hi, Prepping the Truth. How are you doing? Yeah, I'm just getting this hook done, redone here. And then I got to cast it back out. So I'm going to actually have to come off the video here for a second to cast it out. Because I'm kind of in a weird spot. Um, the bridge is angled. It's kind of like at an angle. Um, so when we cast we kind of gotta go over to the side so you don't hit the top of the bridge and in ohio we can actually use uh three rods when we're on um water that's connected to uh to lake erie so frank and i each got three rods off tonight um i'm running bluegill two live bluegill on the two other rods this one that i caught the uh, channel cat on was actually uh, shrimp. It's my fail safe. I always catch channels. Frank calls me the channel king because I never have issues catching channel catfish. Hi, Mr. Kitty Whiskers. How are you doing? Hope you're doing good. Thanks for stopping in. Yeah, we're uh, we're really excited. It was supposed to rain tonight, and. It did the whole way when we were on our way out here. And we went to the other spot that we usually fish. And sorry if you can hear the cars driving overhead here. But um, we, we stopped over at the other spot that we usually fish. And uh, some guys that Frank met the uh, night when I couldn't fish are actually over there fishing right now. So we didn't want to get in their way. Um, it's kind of a tight spot over there anyways. And we've got this little spot over here that we go to that um, is... Uh, it's a nice spot for, uh, it's underneath the bridge. It's completely covered. So we don't have to worry about getting wet. And you can come here no matter what the weather is. We've been here uh, when it's when it's cold outside. Downpouring, you can be here. It could be here and during thunderstorms. You're completely covered. Completely covered. It's a four lane like highway that we're underneath. Yeah, it's a it's a nice weekend. Um, hope everybody else is enjoying their weekend too. Um, I don't know where I put my scissors, Frank. I just had them in my lap. I'm losing. Turn on a brighter light, real quick. Sorry, everybody. 
I just got to get this kind of out here there. I just kind of trim this up here, the extra line, and uh, be good to go. Get it back out there. I'm going to put a shrimp back on it again, send it back out there, see what we can get. Uh, Frank's all baited up with, uh, he's doing live bluegills over there. And uh, haven't been getting any action on him yet, though, have you, Frank? No. Oh, a little run. Yeah, one little he had one little one where it was like a. Uh, but it's still early. It, it clicked a few times, and it yeah. is very early. Um, very early. Is it between 11 and 3? Yeah, take it easy, Ricky. Thanks for stopping in, man. I appreciate it. Um, but, yeah, we're just we're just kind of hanging out. I know it's kind of weird. It's kind of late. Um, Saturday, though. Yeah, it is Saturday, though. Frank's right. It is Saturday. But, you know, I don't know. I don't know what people are doing. They could be enjoying a brewski out at their local pub. Yeah, I'm going on there. Or they could... Uh, <laughs> You know, they could be, you know, snuggling with their loved one, um, watching watching us, which is, you know, that's preferred. Uh, I got to get, I got to get Mrs. Backwoods out here. I got to get her on a rod and a reel. Let's see, so you got my, got my shrimp on there. You see that? And it's still, they're still kind of frozen, but we're going to get this cast out real quick. I'm going to be right back. Nobody leave. I'm literally walking like 10 feet behind you to cast this real quick. And then I'll be back. <laughs> All right. You can do that. You know what I mean? Because that's yeah. you know because I mean, you're it's not going to be any problem. So oh, yeah, it was my foot. All right, so I'm almost done here. Just have to accomplish one more thing. I'm straight out in the far right. All right, back, which is almost back. All right, so we're out there. Um, recasted. Um, let's see here. Hi, Susie Jacobson. How you doing? And sorry, I, Susie, I know I told you I was going to go live last night. It didn't end up happening. I don't know if you saw the video. I pretty much made the video for anybody that saw that I said I was going to go live last night when we were in Gray Mountain Farms, and then it didn't happen. Um, we were out there catching bait, but it got kind of bored. What's that? My saw? Right here. I got one of these cool saws, too. It's like a little pocket saw. It is a Wolf Garten, which I think is German. That's a guess. But that's what we're going with here. Um, all right. Oh, you got to work in the morning, Mr. Kitty Whiskers. Oh, I'm sorry, man. That kind of stinks. Um, see that we got six people in here. Oh, hi, Tommy Rhonda. How are you doing? Thanks for stopping in. Um, oh, I, well, it's Tom. Hi, Tom. How you doing? Um we were talking about you guys and one of the, me and Jaws were, um, we're talking about how uh, you and Rhonda are like the two nicest people in the whole world. Um, and uh, Frank's over here cutting down foliage on the side. But um, yeah, we're, we're having a good time. It was, it's funny. It's the way we used to come in, there's like 5,000 like trees and it's like super high grass. I'm talking about like up to your neck. Some of the stuff's like over your head. And uh, we came down and we were looking at it and we got back over to the spot and I looked over to the side and there's like a clear walkway up to the street. And it's like 50 feet from where we park. So, no, T Tom and Ronnie, you guys are great. Um, everybody, I, I have such a good time watching you guys. I really like it. I was glad that I found Jared and then found you guys through Jared. So that's, it was awesome. Susie, Darcy was super tired um, last night. She actually, she felt bad that we were going to be leaving. She asked if she wanted to leave, and she thought I was going to be upset that we had to leave. And I told her, I was like, listen, I'm like, you guys are more important to me. Like, I spend the time fishing with them because I enjoy fishing with them. I'm not out there taking my kids to do it for me. Um, 
you know, I do like to go on nights. I don't like being away from my family. It's not fun. I wish I could take my wife and kids on all my fishing trips, but when I do the cat fishing and we do the late night trips, it's just, it doesn't make sense. It's better for them just to be home. They need to sleep and get their rest. And Sundays are fun. We, I spend all day at home on Sunday. We sit in the living room and watch football and, um, and it's only the cat fishing is only so many cause I'm in Cleveland and we, the water does freeze. It's hard to fish year round up here. Um, I only get so many months where I get to do this and I don't do it regularly. What'd you do? Oh, did you clear that out? There you go. This is wonderful. Frank's over there making things happen. <laughs> Look at that's, it. that's what he does. Heck yeah. <laughs> you just press that button and pull her in and wash your fingers there. No, but like I was saying, is that you? Oh, uh, yeah. And shrimpy? my shrimp's getting hit again uh, right now as we speak. But yeah, so this is this folding saw that I got. It's a, it's a wolf garden. And this thing cuts oh, quick. But, um, yeah, so for, like I said, Frank actually knew the guys at the last spot we were at. Yeah, and that's what, um, it's just some of the spots I go to, to fish at night. Everybody's like, take your kids. I'm going to be 36 next week. And climbing through some of this is super difficult. It's not fun. I don't like doing it. You can ask Frank. Every single time we go somewhere, I'm like, isn't there an easier way for us to get down there? I was very surprised because the only spot, the only way I knew how to get the spot was through all the yeah. shrubbery and stuff like that. So that was really cool to see. Uh, we found an easy way. It's yeah. It's great. Yeah. So, it's great. But um, it's just, it's some of these places, it's just like for little Darcy, I mean, Darcy's tough. But it's difficult. Here. Like, Aiden might be able to get down here, but I just think it would just be uh, tough. And, oh, thanks, guys. Yeah. I um, We're going to be doing uh, – I'm probably not going to do much next weekend. I don't know if I'm going to do much recording. Um, I know we're – I we're going – Friday we're going to my mom's, and we're going to do a um, – like a dinner thing over there. She was talking about getting fo- food. And we ha- – I don't know if you guys have um, – down south, I know a lot of the people down here are from down south, but we have uh, Swenson's up here, which is like a burger joint, and you can like drive in and park, and they like bring your food out to you. But they have really good food, so I think we're gonna get it from there. But we're gonna take it back to my mom's and like hang out. So maybe I'll even go. Maybe I'll do something like late and go live for my birthday at my mom's house, and just hang out. Maybe you guys can meet Mama Backwoods, and Amanda will be there, Mrs. Backwoods. So. Um, I really want to get her on more videos. Um, she's only been in some little clips here and there <clears throat> and prepping the truth. Thanks for stopping in. I really appreciate it. Um, and, um, stop in again, stop in and visit and, um, oh, you're Susie, your oldest daughter's 36. Yeah. That was a 85 was a good year. If she was born in 85, I'm guessing she, I guess she could have been born in part of 84 if it was towards the end, but yeah, 80, 80, 85 was a good year. Um, you know, you have, uh, Jason and Jared Crocker and me, those are three, three, um, 80, Frank was 85. Frank and I are just right. You were born in 85, right? Yeah. Yeah. 85 was a great year. Your oldest is 50. Tom, I'd never guess that. No, I can't, I can't even believe that. Oh, February 85. Okay. That's awesome. Yeah. Um, but, uh, Tom, I really, I don't believe that your oldest is 50. That doesn't even, that doesn't even like register with me. Um, I can't, I, cause I'm doing the math and that doesn't, that doesn't make sense at all. Um, you're 54. Okay. Yeah. So, um, Wow, you were you were young, huh, Susie? That's a, well, not that young, but you were young. Hi, Bassboro. How are you doing? Thanks for stopping in. Ninety was also a good year. I'll give you that. My, my now, my brother, he was he was eighty nine, so I'll say that year wasn't so good. I'm and I'm completely kidding because I love my little brother, but no, ninety was a good one. Thanks. I really appreciate you stopping in, though, Bassboro. Um, Johnny and his 50th birthday live at our pool. 
Yeah, no, I, I saw that, but I still don't believe it. It doesn't matter if I watched it and it's real life. I just, I don't believe it, Tom. Um, I, I swear. Well, Tom, can you tell us how old you were when you, uh, now? I, cause I don't know how old you are, Tom. I don't know that. But I, I always imagined you being like, you being in your 50s, Tom, and Rhonda. I never, I don't know. And I guess maybe I didn't, I watched it. I watched that, but I don't remember him being 50. That's crazy. Um, and there's going to be some, uh, some pictures posted of the fish that I caught. We had to get it back into the water quick. I was actually going to go live then um, and show the fish, but the fish wasn't in real good shape after I brought it in. So, um, fifteen, huh? Okay. So that's yeah. I mean, that's we. Uh, Amanda and I started real young too. I mean, when Darcy graduates high school, I'll be forty-two. So, um, nothing wrong with starting young. Childhood parents, yeah. Yeah, no, we we started young. We got, I mean, Amanda and I got married, and then we had Aiden right away and had Darcy um, shortly after. Um, they're, they're real close in age, and I think that's why they're so close sometimes, too. Um, I'm just going to move these baits around a little bit, try to get 10 o'clock. No, oh, no, it's been over an hour. I've been, I mean, I've been on this live. I've been on this live for 15 minutes. I'm not going to replace them yet. I'm just going to get them moving because I got them out there pretty far. But, um, oh, sorry about the light, guys. I didn't mean to do that. I'm not what I'm thinking. I got to be right on that ledge, Frank. Oh, okay. I can feel it. And this one keeps... I'm pretty close to you. This guy, yeah, my left guy keeps getting upset and turning towards you, I think. I don't know. I don't know what? I don't know. You tell me. That's that's the kind of situation we're in right now. Oh, your son was born in 92, huh, Susie? Yeah, that's what my brother was. Um, I'll never forget when my brother was born. Um, we had this horrible, horrible storm when he was born and it flooded like the street. And I remember all the older kids because I was over my, my grandparents lived down the street from my mom and I was over there and there's like a creek down um, down the street and it flooded and the kids were riding like rafts down the middle of the street. Yeah, thanks, Bass Bro. Yeah, no, it's actually, it turned out to be really nice, and they were calling for, like, thunderstorms and stuff. So, and that's what we had, and you can see I got a T-shirt on. I, so I'm in I'm in Ohio, for people that don't know that. I'm northern Ohio, northeast Ohio. And um, it, it was cold last night. I had to have, like, two shirts on and a hoodie when I was fishing because it dropped down. It got real cold, but tonight it's, like, it's got to be close. To, I, I bet you it's no high. There's no, no wind. It's perfect out here. And thanks for saying good, good luck too. Let's see. Okay. Yeah, Susie. Yeah, I think we talked about that before because Darcy's. Um, I knew she was 12 in March because Darcy's. Um, Darcy turns 12 in May. Um, so yeah, but we're uh, we're hanging out. But the fire's still kind of just kind of going behind us. Midnight, midnight. We're gonna do a reposition. We're gonna get them going. Um, I wish you guys could see the crazy setup that I have right now for my phone, and I'm using this cheap battery pack from um, from Walmart, and I just have cords running all over my tripod. Um, but it's I guess it's working all right. So. I haven't heard any complaints yet. Yeah. Yeah, that's fall is on the way. Um, oh, my middle rod, one of my bluegills is freaking, freaking out right now. So, so that's good. And... I'm kind of, I'm kind of excited. He's in a hole right now. I can feel it. 
I could feel the way the sinker was kind of going up. Like I could feel it planning itself. Like on the side, I could feel the force. So kind of excited about that. Hoping I haven't had a flathead yet this year. Yeah. And this is, this is a super muddy river that we're fishing right now. Um, Oh, you're in Tennessee. Awesome. I, yeah, I'm sorry. I didn't read that first. I just read about the fall being on the way. I don't have my glasses on, and that's why I keep getting really close so I can read the screen. I have my glasses in Frank's truck, but I didn't bring them, and I'm not walking back up. Hi, Squirrel Magnet Fishing. How you doing? Thanks for stopping in. Oh, and you're yeah, – that's right. Yeah, I always forget you're up in Madison, uh, Wisconsin. Yeah, that's what it was. It was looking. We're supposed to be like, and it's not supposed to get under like 65 Dude, tonight here or something. It's 68 here. Su- Susie says she cheats and uses bobbers. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with using bobbers. When I was catching bait today, my cheap rod that I bought for like $8 at Walmart. We were just catching bluegill, and the rod wasn't working right, so I was handlining um, all the bait I caught. And how many did you think I caught handlining? Ten? Six? Six, eight? I'm going to say it was ten. Frank's going to be more realistic and say it was six or eight. Sixty-six degrees for the rest of the night, Frank says. I'm all over the place. So I got my Diet Cokes with me because I don't – I'm not a – I'm not an alcoholic. Uh, I don't. I don't drink booze. I am addicted to my diet coke, so that's my that's my downfall. You know what? I there's a lot of cat fishermen that use bobbers though, and have a lot of luck with it. So yeah, I'm. I'm. I've been thinking about it. I think when we do the when we Frank and I. Or we're co-owners of the boat together. And I think when we get the boat going, we got to get a battery for it. And once we get the boat out, I think I'm going to try doing um, doing bobbers when we're out on the boat. All right, so we're fishing. Right now we're fishing on a river. We're underneath a bridge. We're in Ohio. Um, and we're fishing. It's northeast Ohio. Um, we're by, um, we're kind of in between Cleveland and Sandusky. Oh yeah. Oh. No, I can't see it. No, because I have a light shining in my eyes. That's why. I can't. Oh yeah. There's. We've been seeing river otters. The other spot there were river otters going through too, and there's one apparently. I can't see because I got the ring light underneath me and it's shining in my eyes. But Frank said that. Um, but they're mean little suckers too. You gotta watch out. You know what, Susie? You no, know, nobody should pick on you ever for the way that you fish. I always, I always say, you know, there, people do everything a different way, and there's nothing wrong with that. So, and that's just my theory on it. They, I've seen, I've done the most unconventional things sometimes to catch fish, and it just, it is what it is. Some things work for some people, and that's the way they do it. Some people were taught that way, but if you're out having fun and you're fishing and you're doing what you love. There's nothing wrong with that. Um, doesn't matter how you do it. Doesn't matter how cheap the equipment uses. Doesn't matter how expensive it is. I just the fish that I hauled in today. Frank and I probably between our five other rods, we've probably got close to a grand into rods and reels. And my fifty dollar rod and reel hauled in the only fish we've caught so far tonight. So it does. It doesn't matter what you buy. Um. And I'll, I'll stand by that. Um, but yeah, I got, um, last week I was using a surf rod and I'm kind of glad I didn't bring it today because I really wouldn't have been able to use it here. I had a, I was using a 10 footer last week. Uh, yeah, yeah, today, today I'm using, I'm using three eight footers, um, today. Um, and I'm using two Abu Garcia C3 6500s. And then I've got my, um, my Berkeley uh, big game that I'm using. 
Um, and it just started raining. Yeah, it says it's going to rain now. So pretty much yeah, so, so we just started getting some rain. So hopefully that might – I've had luck with the rain before. Um, and it's nice right now because we're covered. So it doesn't matter how hard it rains, what's it, what it does. Uh, we'll be able to keep fishing. And hopefully we can get some more tonight. Um, being really? down here and being protected, it really – it makes it super easy to be down here, especially with there not being any wind. It, it has been so – the, the rain that we've had uh, today, it's been a real nice kind of like, it's just been drizzling, really. It hasn't been a heavy rain. We, at squirrel uh, magnet fishing, where, where are you from? What? So Susie Jacobson, Frank, and I'm going to let you in because Frank, Frank's kind of newer, like, to being in the video like he just started being in some of the videos and he's kind of been in in and out and he's uh i would call him a special guest regularly but Susie jacobson is somebody that's been pretty much from the beginning been following my me and watching my videos and she's nice enough to always be in my lives um and, and always she's very loyal very loyal person she was saying sure her sister caught a 20 pound northern on a cane pole. Oh yeah. It bent so bad. We thought it was gonna snap, but it didn't. That's pretty cool. That's like a story. Like nobody, you know what I mean? How often does that happen? Those are the fun stories. Yeah, those are the fun ones. That's awesome, though. Tell your tell your sister that I said congratulations. That's really neat. Oh, you're in Pennsylvania. All right, that's awesome. I don't know. Shippensburg, Pennsylvania. Do you know where that is, friend? Shippensburg? Shippensburg. Yeah. Anyways, that's what there are some uh, rivers that I want to try in Pennsylvania. Um, it's I think we're going to try to plan stuff out a little bit better next year. I had a lot of plans to do that stuff, and I really procrastinate. Now that I have this channel going, I'm really going to, like, stay on track and just try to get stuff done. Um, and it, it, there's a lot of places that I want to fish. We're, like I said, we're going to be getting the boat out once we get the battery, um, for the trolling motor. Um, and we, we're going to test, take it out and take it for a test first. We're not going to, um, be getting all crazy with it right away. We haven't had it out yet since we bought it. We bought it like two years ago, which also reminds me, Frank, I need to renew, renew the, uh, trailer tags. Because my birthday's coming up. Like I said, my birthday's next Friday, so i got to do my trailer tags. Um, hi, Polar Bear. How you doing, bud? Thanks for stopping in, man. And it's okay that you got me muted. It's, it, you, I mean, it is what it is. But thanks for stopping in. I really appreciate it. Um, hi, Wanderer Arts and Adventures. Thanks for stopping in. Um, I can't believe how many people are in here this late. I mean, I know it's five, but that's still awesome. Susie, I feel like I missed. You couldn't believe it. The damper and all other things. I imagine that was something that I said, but yeah. Um, I've just been, we've been trying to figure things out. Um, we're trying to get things more scheduled. Frank has more time now. Uh, Frank and I were fishing pretty regularly. And then uh, with the whole, you know, the C word happening last year. Um, it kind of put a damper on some things. And then w between that and his work schedule, um, it was a little crazy, but Frank's got more free time now. So we've been getting a lot of, a lot of fishing in. Um, and now we can plan things. We're going to try to plan things a little bit better. So um, we were also looking at a pontoon boat. Um, so, I, you know, we want to get this one. We haven't even used the one that we got now. So we're going to get that out. Um, use that for a while, and who knows, maybe we'll end up upgrading. Um, let's see. And Squirrel Magnet Fishing says, I am at least a half hour from Harrisburg and an hour from Gettysburg. Okay. All right. I get. I know that I get the gist of where you're at. Um, that's cool. 
Um, yeah, there's, I gotten a chance to meet a couple people, um, fishing that have come here that do, they come from Pennsylvania to Ohio to Lake Erie to do, um, walleye fishing, but they also catfish and they've told me about some of the, you know, they've shown me pictures of stuff that they've caught out of some rivers, um, in, uh, in Pennsylvania. Um, I think they were close to the Allegheny, maybe. Maybe that's what it was. I might be wrong, but I think that's what they said. Oh, yeah, I procrastinate all the time. Yeah, that's what I I do procrastinate a lot. Um, and I don't know if I, there's only three people in here, so I'll, I'll say it anyways. But I did talk to my buddy about the shirts, and the artwork is approved. So, um, we just got to go over a couple things on Monday and we're going to get those rolling. Hopefully it's not too long. It's probably going to be closer to the end of the month is my guess. That's probably a good idea of when it might be earlier, but I'm going to say, hopefully the end of the month, we get the shirts out. Okay. Yeah. I figured being in Pennsylvania, you know where the Allegheny is. I'm just not sure if that was the river for some reason that sticks in my head um that that's where they were um but there's a bunch of rivers and i've heard west virginia is pretty good too um but i i've i've fished close to the west virginia uh border of ohio on the ohio river before um i did okay darcy did great of course um but yeah, so we're, we're going to get some new, probably some new locations, probably try to do a little bit more traveling, um, getting some stuff in. Um, I want to do some camping videos um, while I'm fishing and uh, kind of show some of the other um, things that we do. I actually, I started this with the uh, fire starters that I made in one of the other videos this week. Um, so that's how I started this fire. I'm going to have to get some more wood cut up here kind of keep that going it's got a slow burn right now we don't really need like i said it's not cold out here so we really don't need a big fire going um ripping and roaring uh -oh, let's see here um yeah i i am i've always been really horrible with procrastinating on things and you know i i actually i started this channel um i think it was like october 12th or 13th of last year and I posted like one video of my dog Paisley catching a treat and I put off recording anything. I think it was like, I didn't even end up recording my first video till like February. So February is probably like my actual start date of when I started um, this, this channel and doing these videos. But um now that I think about it, but yeah, I'm coming up on a year from when I actually started and thought I was going to do it. And I decided I was going to do it after Jason Crocker was talking about like getting out and doing stuff. And I was like, you know, I'm out here and I'm fishing and I'm hunting and having a good time and hanging out with my family. I'm like, I'm just going to start recording it and just having fun with it. And that's, that's pretty much what it's been so far. I have heard of the Saskatchewan river. Um, and what's, what's your opinion on, uh, on fish in that? Let me know. Um, you know, I mean, that's the thing too, like where I'm at in, cause I'm really close to Cleveland. So, um, you know, Pennsylvania isn't, you know, it's not too far away. Hi, Matthew, just outdoors. Thanks for stopping in. Yeah. Which I was just stopping in. It was kind of, I didn't know if I was going to make a video tonight or go live. Um, and I decided to go live. Um, I was hoping I was going to catch something live here. Um, and literally, what was it? Five, what, it was, was it 9.53? Or, yeah, it was like 9.53 and I hooked up with a channel cat and reeled it in. And I just, I didn't get a chance to go live before then, so. Yeah, that's what it's, uh, <laughs> yeah, Susie, yeah, I just, I tend to 
procrastinate. I need to stop doing that. I really do. What are you doing, Frank? Frank's over there. He's repositioning his. I wish I had better light down here um, to kind of show. Actually, I think I got another really little light in here somewhere. Might brighten up the area over here. Let me see. Everybody, if you can give me one second here, I'm just going to look. Because I thought I had, I do have another light here. Let's see if this changes anything. No, that doesn't do anything. Nah, it's not bright enough. I don't know, the other day when I was using it for some videos, it really helped with the video. But I also had Aiden and Darcy, like, carrying it around. Um, and that kind of helped. That's not even doing anything. I also think I need to change the batteries in it, which might also be help out there. But I've got everything in the kitchen sink down here tonight. Oh, you can see Frank over there with the light on. You see him back there? He right over there. He right over there. Oh, you're fishing here on uh, Erie on Monday. Awesome. That's great. Uh, no, uh, Matthew Jess Outdoors, is, he's fishing uh, Erie on Monday. Um, yeah, that's what I, um, I had a really bad, like horrible experience the last time I was fishing Lake Erie. Um, just some people that, well, I guess maybe it wasn't the last time. It was the last time I fished one spot that I used to go to that was kind of my spot and it's kind of been taken over by some people. Um, and, uh, it was a good spot. It was fun. I had a lot of fun catching just channel cats there. But uh, over the past couple of years, um, more people, you know, fishing kind of, a lot of people started fishing when the, when the sea word started last year. That's what I call it. Uh, and uh, a lot of people started fishing down there and they aren't friendly. I don't know. It used to be a different kind of people that would be down there. Um, you, you would just, and by different kind of people, I mean, just you would have friendly people that knew each other um, down there and everybody kind of looked out for each other. What's that? Huh. Somebody's walking up on us, I guess. There's somebody over there, Frank. What's up? Uh, we got, we got one, one channel. Oh, sorry, everybody. I got the light on there. Yeah. Somebody just walking down here. Um, oh, thanks, man. Have a good night. Oh, that's that kind of scared me because we're um, in the middle of nowhere. But he asked if we were getting any hits, and then he took off. It's funny. Yeah, somebody just walked up on us. It doesn't uh, usually happen like that, but. Um, Every once in a while it does, and that's why we usually fish in pairs too, because you never know who's walking up. I'm, kind of, I'm not going to lie, it scared me. <laughs> I couldn't understand a word he was saying either, because uh, uh, it, it was kind of muffled, and we're underneath the bridge. Um, so, um, Oh, you're going on a charter for walleye. Awesome. Where are you going out of, um, Matthew Jess Outdoors? Um, I've done a couple charters. Like, I've been on charters before for walleye. Always hit our limit, so walleye is great. Make sure you get the cheeks. Um, cut the cheeks out when you when you get them filleted. That's the best part of the walleye. A little butter in a pan, get it going. Um, thanks. Yeah, that's what. Um, it's actually one of my um, somebody I've known for years um, owns a um, clothing. Um, it's like a. Uh, they make T-shirts, hoodies, hats, um, stickers, all sorts of stuff. So there's going to be a bunch of different stuff I'm going to be doing um, as money permits. So um, once I get some more cash flow coming in. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm kind of hoping that the guy's gone, but and you guys can hear me. But he, uh, the guy was like in the bushes, like I never saw him. He never came out. Oh, 
he, he was like, he was not down here with us. He was somewhere in the bushes. So, and there was no light, was none. Like I'm down here and you can see how pitch black it is. Like he did not have a headlamp on. I don't know how he was navigating through the woods, but he did it. Oh, and so Matthew Jess Outdoors said he's got some saw guy today. You know, that's one thing out of all the fishing, I've never caught a saw guy before. Um, I've always I've always caught walleye, but never a saw guy. Saw guy. But yeah, the the hood uh, the t shirts, um, they are they look like they're gonna be super nice. Um, my my buddy does great work. I've seen tons of other stuff he does, um, and everything always turns out awesome. So um, I think it's really expensive. Um, he's giving me a really good deal on this. So I'm going to pass the deal along. I'm not trying to make a crazy amount of money. I just want to be able to pay for them and to be able to get some other stuff going. Um, eventually, I want to do hoodies. Um, I was talking about, to Frank about some other ideas I have um, for some other merchandise. So um, hopefully we can get some cool stuff coming out for you guys um i want to do nice stuff and that's my main thing is doing quality um oh that's cool let me know when you get the stickers going uh squirrel magnet fishing i'll totally i'll totally get some um i've got buckets that i use for bait and i like to put stickers on them so it's kind of like a little thing i do um so that'd be yeah, that'd be sweet. I'd I'll totally get a sticker from you. Um, yeah, just let me um, let me let me know how much they are to you. You know, I'll PayPal you or whatever. But um, yeah, I'm just gonna stay on here for a little bit longer. Um, I actually I got some some root beer. Um, I'm straight. So if you look, see where the end of this this concrete is? Like the flat part of the concrete is flat. Straight ahead, go all the way over to the left. Okay. You see where the end of the concrete yeah. is? You're That's where my line is, straight oh, down from there. Oh, okay. It looks so close, buddy. I'm going to come so close to you, okay? Let me know. Let me know. Oh, my God. Did you get it right in that pocket? <laughs> Probably a foot away from that. So where we're fishing right now, it's underneath the bridge, and there's, like, structure in front of us, which is awesome. Um, I was just trying to explain to Frank where I was at so he didn't cross me, and he didn't. He hit it perfectly. And, um, but it's, like, it's shaped like this, like the concrete, and he literally got it, like, dude, right on the edge of the concrete. My, dude, my eye, I got to do that. Yeah, it was like it's when you cast out there, it just drops down quick too. It's twenty. I I think it's where my excuse me, I just burped. Where my middle rod is, Frank. That was more than twenty. I mean, you can watch. You can watch the school. Yeah, it was just I cast out and it just dropped down. Um, yeah, Frank. Frank. Oh, he Frank even went as far as put new bait on. Smacked into the wall. Yeah, Frank, Frank's over done. here beating up fish up against the well, wall on the thing. How's everybody's uh, everybody Saturday going? I on my fall schedule now, so I'm working uh, Saturdays now, um, off Sundays. But it's just through the fall I do it because my job's seasonal, and um, I went and checked my. Uh, trail cameras today and I was going to videotape it. Uh, my buddy Dave, who is a great guy, does not like being on videos. So I respect him. He was with me. I didn't record anything when I went out and did that. I'll do a video um, tomorrow. Um, I'll put something together and I'll kind of show the deer that it showed up on my trail camera and they've been showing up regularly during the day, which is super exciting. I had like two nighttime pictures of deer, which just last year they were all. Did you see that light show up behind me? 
There's a light. There's a light over on that side that just popped up. It was. It was you on your phone. Oh, probably. Never mind. Okay, I was just. Now I feel like I'm being attacked down here. First of all, the guy has no headlamp. None. I don't know how he saw his. And that's what I'm saying. Unless he was over here behind us and we couldn't see him. No, he was because over, the voice was you, coming from over here. Yeah, there was no headlamp. There was no headlamp. It was really cool. But one of my lines, and I don't know which one it was, just jingled a little bit. So that was a little exciting. So somebody's getting freaked out. But I'm trying to get these guys woken up here a little bit. Well, as I said, this guy was so good. This guy was so good. And uh, I, I smacked against the concrete by accident. <laughs> Keep these low here. So it's been so early. So early. It's early, and my bluegills are just kicking butt out there. These guys we got some good fight, we, man. Have some, we have some good. Uh, Frank went nuts we catching the bluegill. Good, good bluegills today. Huh? Yeah, tons, tons, dude. How many did we catch total? Dude, there had to be uh, close to twenty, and legion. they're all good. They're all, they're all as big as our hands. They were, they were all big. All bluegills are as big as our hands. I mean, that's 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 what I'm saying. That's how every, if you push it for flathead, that's every live bait should be like a minimum of that. If I was, I mean, that, that's for me being, this is my 10th season fishing. I'm going to screenshot this right now. So I have your email, bud. I just screenshot it. So I got it in my pictures now. Look at that. I'm doing like fun things here. Uh, but I have your email. Um, awesome, man. Yeah. Um, well, my, my PO box is in my description too. So um, I, we, I want to thank everybody for stopping in too here. I'm going to go for about another, we've been out here for 47 minutes. So I'm going to go for an hour. I'll stay on. Um, and then I'm going to get off, uh, get these lights turned on so that my eyes can adjust. Um because all we have down here is the one, and I can't get this fire going. It's really just kind of, kind of smoldering there. But I do have uh, some branches over here. Um, Darcy was nice enough to make me some fire starters too. So I had the ones that I made the other night. I just kind of wanted to get rid of those ones that were made with the uh, styrofoam. Um, so we, um, so I used those, finished those up, and that got this fire started instantly. And everything down here is dry too, so uh, yeah. So that's cool. Um, so I got that fire going, and my blood sugar is actually a little low right now. I can kind of tell because I'm getting really I have deep. sour gummies, and uh, Frank has sour gummies. But I also have what I'm gonna tell. I'm gonna tell, and if you guys have friends that are diabetics, sorry. Once again, I'm turning on this light, but I'm gonna share show you what I always keep in my bag. We can find it. And this is, oh, oh, did I put it in here? Yeah, you're there. Glucose tablets. If you have friends that are diabetics, even if they might carry them on them, if you're friends with a diabetic, do them a favor and carry them if you're worried about them not having them. Because this can be the difference between somebody passing out and not. Um, I keep them on me. I do not have a problem with having high blood sugar. I have a problem with low blood sugars, even though I'm a diabetic. So I always keep um, I'm a I've been a juvenile diabetic. I got diabetes when I was 10. Um, which was also kind of weird because my daughter got diabetes when she was 10. Um, our pancreas just don't work. Um, while my blood sugar can go high, it doesn't often. I go low a lot. Um, and there are, there's a lot of diabetics out there. Um, and that's why you got to look out for your friends too. Frank always looks out for me. He's always got little candies and stuff. And he always asks to make sure I'm all right. I get real loopy. That's almost like being drunk. That's why I don't drink beer. I don't have to. 
Yeah, 30. I can't even imagine. Um, at 10, diabetes was like, it was kind of difficult. It was, you know, it was rough to deal with. But I can't imagine going, being 30 years old and finding out that, you know, I have to change my eating habits. And it was hard enough being 10 um, and having to do that. But, you know, I mean, the thing is now, and it's like I found out over the years, and they've changed everything so much. And I'm sure you know this um, being a being a diabetic is that. You really don't have to change too much anymore. You know, it's long as you have, you know, your medicine that you can still do a lot of the same things, you know, and depending on how your doctor, you know, and how well you're doing, you know, with it. Um, you know, I, I hope you, you know, I hope you are doing well with it. And, you know, I know it can, it's difficult. I have my bad days. I, and you know what, anybody that says they don't cheat um, with sugar and stuff like that is a lot higher. So sometimes you got to treat yourself and that's part of being human. I mean, don't take my medical advice. I'm not a doctor. I pretend that I know what I'm talking about, but I do have good blood sugar readings and my hemoglobin A1Cs are always good. So, um, and my daughter's is, my daughter is like, she gets some highs every once in a while. Darcy's blood sugar readings are outstanding all the time. She, her hemoglobin A1C, which is for people that don't have diabetes or don't know, that is a three month average of what your blood sugar readings are. And, um, they want you to be like in between 80 and 120. Um, and that's right where she's in all the time. Uh, pretty much perfect blood sugar readings. Um, let's see here. But um, yeah, so and, and mine's been good for years now. I also love root beer, and that's kind of a little bit of an addiction too. You know, it'd be great right now, Frank, if we had ice cream, man. Some. Oh, hot dog? Yeah, we should have done that. We got that little grate over there, too. Um, yeah, somebody actually has a grate down here, um, which is pretty neat. But, um, yeah, I hope, you know, I hope that, you know, in the future, I hope that your health stays well. Um, Wanderer Arts and Adventures. I mean, that's what diabetes is a serious thing. And, and I know because I have it. I know how it is. But you just got to take care of yourself. And oh, so you do? Do you do um, like exterior house painting? I have one of one of my uncles. Um, he was that's what he was by trade. He was a he was a house painter. He did. Um, he did exterior, but he was more, he did more interior stuff. Cause I actually worked for a company that he worked for. Um, I did, um, water and fire restoration, um, for, for a while. And, um, I enjoyed that work a lot. That was kind of neat. Um, to see all the bugs floating around there, I think it was between the bugs and fire, but, um, yeah, that's my uncle. My uncle was a painter and I helped him with stuff, but I did a lot more like drywall work. That was kind of my thing. And then I got into doing auto body. I was did auto body. Um, I went to school for it. That's what I went to school for. Oh, so you do. OK, yeah, um, that's cool. I, I am not good at painting um, with a brush um, or a roller. Uh, I am an automotive. I, I don't do it anymore, but I was a very good automotive painter. Um, I did airbrushing and stuff too um, years ago. I haven't done it in years though. I got out of that. I'm in sales now. And even after that, I was actually, I worked outside for a long time. Um, I did gutter cleaning um, for, for years and did a lot. I was doing like 20 houses. There's a bug crawling up by the camera right now. So if it covers it, I'm sorry. But it's just big bug. I don't even know what it is. But it's just crawling up there. And it's about, like, it's really close to the camera. So I don't know. I might cover it here in a minute. But yeah, so no, I know about the ladders, man. 
and I was working outside in the heat, and then your blood sugar drops low. Oh my gosh, it's a nightmare. And it's amazing the stuff that they give my daughter now. Like in case she goes low, they got like a nasal spray that brings your blood sugar back up. All sorts of stuff. And I didn't have that when I was a kid. I was always my mom. Like I, I had bad ones where I had like C's and stuff. So, um, and I haven't had any issues with the real. And my poor wife, she's had to deal with the low blood sugars too in the seizures. Um, but in the knock on wood, in the past. Two, about two years, I really haven't had too many bad ones. Um, back in the day, they used to have to call uh, the uh, ambulance for me. And they'd have to come and they'd give me the IV drip with the, with the sugar to get me back up. And I was a mess because I, I was, I'm very active. Um, and every time Frank gets on his phone, because it the way the camera is, it makes me feel, see, like, over here, when he gets on his phone. Frank, get on your phone real quick. Huh? Turn your phone on to the screen. Uh-huh. You see it right there? Okay, so that's to the right of me. But when I'm looking here, it's on the left-hand side. So I feel like there's a light behind me where there shouldn't be anybody. And it keeps freaking me out. But And... After what happened, somebody just popping in, that's kind of threw me off a little bit. Um, my middle rod here is getting a little bit of movement. So, middle, bluegill. So, hopefully, we get something else popping on here. I was hoping I was going to get to catch one live, um, be able to show you guys. Hi, Epic Catfish. Thanks for stopping in. Um, we're not going to be out here much longer. We're going to be on for a couple more minutes here and then get going. But we are out here. We got one channel so far tonight. Um, we've been here for two hours now, Frank. Yeah. And I don't know what's going on with this. I think this battery pack might be dying. Um, but I am losing. If you can see, I'm actually losing light right now. I'm going to try to get another light on here. But uh, this might be the end of it because I am running out of light here. try to finish it off with this because I'm only going to be out for a couple more minutes. But the uh, yeah, because I'm totally losing power. My battery bank is is dying here. It's only taking so much. Uh, let's see here. You know, I really th- thanks for stopping in. I am going to be doing um Mondays are my normal lives that I do. Um, it's actually going to be me, my son, and my daughter uh, going live this Monday. Um, the weekends, I'm going to start doing lives at night while I'm fishing uh, when we can do it. So uh, feel free to stop in. Um, I try to post videos uh, usually like five or six days a week. There's actually a video that comes out. And sometimes it's just outdoor stuff. Sometimes it's how to. Uh, we do a bunch of different stuff. So. I'm trying to figure out how to get this where I don't look all weird. Look at this. It's like a street light. Like this. Um, but anyways, um, so this light's really dying. Like, I'm just running out of light now. And my other one's dying, too, and I kind of need this. I do have another battery bank, but I don't think it's even worth hooking up for two more minutes. But uh, Epic Catfish, thanks for stopping in. Uh, Wandering Arts and Adventures, thanks for stopping in. Um, Want to thank uh, Squirrels Magnet Fishing for stopping in. Uh, Matthew Jess Outdoors, thanks for stopping in. Susie Jacobson, always thank you for stopping in. Um, Susie's always hanging out with me. But I do, I appreciate everybody that stopped in tonight um, and said hi. Uh, Ricky Ventures, I know he left. Bass Bro was in here. Um, at home with Tom and Rhonda, I was, uh, it's always nice to see Tom stop in, but, um, as you can see, it's really, it's that light's just dying, dying. So I must give you complete, yeah, I'm completely out of juice out of that battery bank. So now I know it doesn't last a whole hour, but you get pretty darn close. So, um, and, uh, prepping the truth and, um, 
I'm trying to think who else was there. I don't want to miss anybody. I feel bad because I don't like missing people. That's why I'm scrolling through. All the way up here. Oh, I know I'm missing somebody. But anyways, or Mr. Kitty Whiskers too. Everybody, thanks for stopping in. Really appreciate it. Um, don't forget, if you're not subscribed, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you never miss a video. I'm really sorry that this light's just dying on me right now. But I'm going to get going. I've been on here for an hour. Thanks for stopping in. Um, there will be a video tomorrow night, most likely. And then we will also have um, live on Monday, Aiden and Darcy will be with me. And nobody's gotten to ask Aiden questions ever. So please stop in. Um, you can ask my son questions. He'll be answering them for you. Uh, so everybody have a great night. Once again, thanks for stopping in. I'm just checking right now to make sure I didn't miss any. Oh, thank you, Wandering Arts um, and Adventures. I appreciate it. Okay, Epic Cafe. So um, our live got postponed on account of rain, but we will go live on the monster hunt tomorrow night. Awesome. I will be there tomorrow night. Um, so I may actually, I'll go after this. Do you have the live up there real quick before I get off? Do you have um, Epic Catfish? Do you have the, um, it like already set up? Like, is it like in the, in the thing where I can just go on and click it to set a reminder? Cause if not, I'll just set an alarm. What, what time is it at? Sometimes YouTube's weird and doesn't give me uh, the uh, the time. If you're still in here, just let me know. I'll hang out for another minute in case you are. That way I get to see the message. But as you can see, I'm completely almost out of light. So Okay, well, if you're um, Epic Catfish, if you're not in here, I'll just look on your channel so i'm sure i'll be able to be able to find it actually i'm going to screenshot that too so i remember but everybody thanks for stopping in um and uh like i said don't forget to like subscribe hit that notification bell and we'll be back with another video soon take care everybody